here we go. Another new project today. I want some way to store all this metal. Uh, it's heavy. Most of it's a meter long, but it's going to be shorter than that soon. Um, if it gets short enough, I'll just um, move stuff into here. Although, I'll probably take out the half meter stuff and move it to my new storage thing as well. And just keep the drawer for the really short stuff, like that. Uh, then I could probably reduce it to one drawer and maybe have a spare. So that's what I spent the day at the hardware store looking at everything, trying to think about how I was going to do it. And I came up with this system. I've got a sheet of 6 mil by 12 by 9, and I got these things here. These are from this thing called Racket, which is a shelving system. So this is actually a shelf. And I'm going to mount them on this backing board like that. There's going to be spacer wood like that, just to keep it an inch off the, um, or 20, cent, 20 millimeters off the board. One there, one there, one at the bottom. There's going to be a tray at the bottom and probably a lip here as well at the front of the tray. And the idea is you will take a piece of a rod and you put it there, right? And then what? Well, you might have several pieces and if it's that long, so that can sit there like that and it can hold several pieces down and as they get shorter well I can group them and I can have clips further down as well of course so it's completely adjustable people do things like they have shelves or, or, or little arms sticking out where they put stuff like that well I didn't want the weight of all of this to be carried by the wall I wanted the floor to carry the weight Another idea I came up with was to use what they call pipe clips or pipe saddles, which are uh, for a downpipe. You can get like a 100 mil thing. It's a plastic ring with a couple of feet that you can screw. And I thought, well, I could just screw those to things. And I thought, well, I'll have to have different ones at different heights. And, and then it's sort of fixed. And they don't take that many. A 100 mil doesn't take that many. You know, I've seen people use, I got that idea by it because I've seen people use uh, just a pipe, so they have pipes, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll just get three or four pipes, cut them to different lengths and put them next to each other, I'll just stack stuff in. You don't fit that much in a pipe. That, if you, you could have one of those and then smaller bits. Um, so I'd probably have to have three pipes with a large piece each, and then small bits next to it, and uh, I, with the pipes and stuff, you'd have to predict what you were going to have, and you'd sort of have empty pipes and full pipes. You'd, I don't think it would ever be right. So again, this idea of making it adjustable on the fly with straps and with this grid, I thought was the better idea. All right, the rest of the video here is going to be sped up. There's no point doing it slowly. All we can see is how I put it all together. Now, I purchased all these bits of wood and metals so that they would I could put it together without having to do any more cutting because I'd sold my Triton saw bench at this point and although I did get a little um little Black & Decker one which we just saw it's not really good for sheet cutting sheets or anything. I only had to cut a slot in a couple of these slats here uh, so that the grill would fit in those grills were crooked, not very well welded, uh, so I went through all of them at the shop, picked out the best ones, uh, put the whole thing together with PVA glue, wood glue, and posi drive screws, which went pretty well. I think that's a 9mm MDF on the back, or might be more, might be a 12 well, it might be a nine because I was screwing into the slat. That's why I had one in the corner like that. Now, it didn't really need to be painted, but I wanted to use up this um, can of caliper spray. So now it's black. And here I am. I'm using these electrical cable clips. They're sort of a little U-shaped clip with a nail in them. And they're nailed onto those slats, which are not MDF. They're proper wood with grain. And that's why I bought them on purpose like that, so I could nail all these in and there'd be some grip. 
and I used one on every single crossbar and then along on all three slats so there's a a lot of nails holding that in and then it needs to hold in because of course these straps clip onto that grill and then those nails hold it in you know they hold up the metal essentially and here I wanted to screw it to the wall which I did I just had to find my 4x2s to screw it into and I used some rubber grommets to for a standoff because it had to stand off about uh, 10 millimeters because of that tread down there tread board and here we go, I'm just trying it out. I wasn't sure exactly how I'd mount these, um, but they've actually been in like this the whole time, ever since I built this. Um, I figured out halfway through that if I put those um, straps on an angle, that would be better. And these might not be the best straps um, for it. They're actually quite stiff. They're strong rubber and they're just a little bit stiff to use. But for the heavy ones on the left, they're probably best. And the nice thing is I can adjust them up and down. I could get longer ones, shorter ones. I could do all sorts. So I'm quite happy with that arrangement. If I have more long ones than short ones, it'll work. And if I have more short ones than long ones, it'll work as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I do have separate storage for things that are like two or three meters long up in the ceiling. There's a shelf up there as well. And this whole thing fits into these, whatever, four or five or six inches, which was the whole point of that. Alright, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.